Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we're going to take a look at Wallander Instruments WI Orchestra, which is, I can kind of like one of those forgotten apps, something that never ever got audio bus, something that never did anything else, really, than other than what it is now, but it's still a great app. Okay, so you've got uh, all the orchestral instruments. You get some as the, in the basic version sort of thing. I think it was like a free version. And then there's an IAP for the rest of the orchestra. So I've had this for absolutely years. And it's... Uh, <clears throat> It's a really good app. I, I really like it. So you get a description of the first the first thing you see you get a description of violins. And it's uh some of the samples aren't the best samples that are out there, but they're still pretty good. And uh it's actually velocity sensitive, which is very cool. Uh, over here you have the dynamics, it's transpose here. Now for each instrument this will automatically transpose to the correct thing, but you can adjust it again if you want to. That's kind of your output, it's called MIDI. So it's MIDI to my uh, keyboard here. Um, the dynamics thing, so full dynamics obviously, it's full. Well, if we scroll through these, first one here with this little PP which is pianissimo, that means very quiet. The next one we go through is to P, which is piano, which is quiet. And the next one, which is mezzo piano, MP, which is quite quiet. We're getting louder. See, they, as the further they go up from full, from PP, they go up in, in different, uh, you know, velocities. This is because, you know, this is how orchestras play. You can choose to play it like an orchestra would play it. And you're learning as well. Okay, so the next one after MP is MF, which is mezzo forte, which is quite loud. Now, so also as well that most of these are the strings and things are mono, which is quite sad, but there you go. Never mind. Anyway, moving on, the next one is F, which is forte, which is loud. And then we have two Fs, F, F, which is fortissimo, which is very loud. And then again, back to full, which is everything. Um, now, this little thing up here, microphone, is not... It does nothing to do with audio. What what that does is acts like a breath control. So if you've got a trumpet, you can switch the microphone on. You play the keys, you'll hear nothing until you start to blow into the microphone. So you can actually play it like a trumpet. That's very, very cool and very, very clever as well. But it's uh, also a feature that obviously I'm not going to use here. But that's you can if you wanted to. And then we have reverb. On or off, I like it with on. Uh, moving over here, we have um, just an about. Basically, that's just a little quick one. It's just a quick one that tells you what's going on there, and it's where you can learn about the breath control as well and transport bar. Here we have uh, the demo song. Now, this demo song was uh, recorded with WI, so let's give that a quick listen. <laughs> agree it's pretty good it's pretty good and the other good thing is that you can um you can record your own songs as well and this is how we do this here before we go through so we select project two or there's project three there i am um, project four now that'll tell you it's empty so we'll stick we'll go with project three uh, sorry project three 
and I've done something. Project four, which is empty. Now there is no metronome here, okay? <clears throat> and uh, so if you've got some sort of a phone or another iPad or something, download the metronome app, and you can keep time with that. But this is like a real thing, you know. You you wouldn't have a metronome, although you would have a human metronome in the conductor, <clears throat> of course. But I found this very very useful for getting your timing right. So for instance, if I was just to record a little bit now, so there's no start, you just start to record. And then we stop it there. Now if you notice there was a little X there, if I was to have pressed the X, it would have not recorded that. It would have ignored it. And we can undo one layer of recording by pressing undo. But I've only got one layer. So let's have a quick listen to that. So there's our little recording we've just made. So we're moving along now into instruments. So these are the violins. And these are the violas. And a very cool thing is, on the MIDI keyboard here, it will give me the full range of the viola, and then it will stop, I can't go any further, so. And cellos. And a bit further along we have double basses. play our little piece and I'll record some double bass over the top of that. Obviously it's double bass with a, with a bow, guys, okay? I'll stop that. And then we'll have our two layers. Now we're, we're, we're allowed to multi-track and we're allowed to record up to five minutes in length as well. Okay, so we're moving along. Here we have pizzicato violins. And these are poly. So let's... And, oh, so viola's pizzicato, no, so slightly. And then cello's pizzicato. Double bass pizzicato. Trumpet. trumpet trombone and bass trombone And French horn. And a tuba. <clears throat> and an ordinary tuba. So what we could do there is uh, have that quieter. Do a little bit more overdubbing as we go. Let's see. And what we've got 
corn it now. I'll just move that uh, velocity up a little bit there. A flugel, a flugel horn. Euphonium. An A flute. Very nice. We could add a bit of flute. Shall we add a bit of flute? flute also bass flute oboe English horn. Lovely jabbly. And clarinet. Bass clarinet. These recordings, by the way, I think are uh, <clears throat> saved when you when you save them. They're saved in your iTunes folder, so you can get them out and get them into somewhere else. But soon. Contra bassoon. Uh, oh, see, contra bassoon, so. You remember in the Neil Holy movies, you used to use contra bassoons a lot. And recorder. Further up here. And soprano saxophone. Soprano saxophone. I think this is a great app. Also, melody, C melody saxophone. Baritone. Mm -hmm. 
bass. Ah, now, two of these. Some of these are polyphonic, some of them aren't. I think the guess they worked it out, you know, the way if an instrument is a monophonic instrument or <coughs> a polyphonic instrument. A mixed percussion. A bit better. Glockenspiel. Celeste. And a grand piano. And then we're back to and that bit for the WI guitar, and then we're back to violins. So there you go, guys. This is uh, WI Orchestra, Wander Instruments. These guys make VSTs, and I think it's great for what it is. Um, it'd be nice if it had audio bus, a metro at home, but uh, you can see that you can do some cool stuff and and learn a little bit as well. And the samples are pretty good for a lot of the things as well. Oh, and also don't forget you can blow it as well if you switch the microphone on. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you later. Oh, don't forget to go to the website, www.soundtestroom.com. Also have different ways you can help support us now, uh, Patreon and uh, stuff like that, which will be in the links for this video. All right, guys, I'll see you later.